Hello everybody! Today I want to show you the following effect and how to achieve it in Blender, but first let's take a look. So we see how fluid is floating around a text object which is invisible. So we just open Blender and let's go with the default cube for once. So scale it up and scale it down on the z-axis like this, that's okay. What we will now do is set it up as an fluid object with the type obstacle. We will set it to both. And now let's add a text object. Here it is. And just type anything you want. So maybe C, I will leave space between it, C, G, and an I. Now we go to the text option, options and increase the thickness. We extrude it to one meter. That's totally enough. You can do all kind of other things here, for example, change in the font, but we will not do this now. And what we now have to do is to change the text object to a mesh object. So we do this by pressing Alt and C and convert the curve to a mesh object. So we see now the topology is really messed up, which uh, can lead to some problems. So we go to the modifier tab and, uh, and add a modifier, the remesh modifier. So at first, uncheck this one and increase the yeah, resolution basically. I will go with seven, less is also okay, for example, six, how you want it. Now we apply it, we will see, looks better, but yeah, it's enough. Maybe what we will do is increase the thickness of the eye a bit, like this. Okay, now we have to set it up as an obstacle as well. So just go here again, here. And for the fluid, of course, we need a domain. So let's just create a cube and place it in the right way. So like this, that's nice. Go in this view, place it here. Yeah, that's enough. Now we just have to set it up as a domain. Okay, so just uh, set the viewport display to final and to 100 for the first time. We will increase the speed to 2. Yes, and um, to have a better look at what we are doing inside the domain, I will set it uh, to wire for now. And now we will create the inflow objects. So we will use 2, scale it down and like so, and place it here, we put it to inflow. Now we want the uh, fluid to go down to the ground and then bouncing off here and flowing like this. So we just have to set it to minus 10 or let's say, yeah, minus 12, in the inflow velocity and on the z-axis. And now we just duplicate it and put it here again. Then we put this back to solid instead of wired. And now just bake it for the first time and we will see what happens. Okay, so it's now baked enough for us. I will just hide the text object for now and we can see the basic contours of the text. So uh, in really bad quality, of course, because the resolution was only 100 and some other settings weren't that right. So let's unhide it and maybe have a go at, let's say 250 and I will be back when it's baked. Okay, so I just baked it on the resolution of 250 and it looks quite decent, I believe. Look at this. 
Okay, so what we will do now is position the camera how we want it to be. Maybe like yeah, this, for example, do whatever you like. And set the fluid to smooth and maybe with control one at a subdivision surface. So if we now render it, we will still see the text object like this. Uh, you can maybe utilize this, uh, make houses out of this. Uh, it will probably look cool, <laughs> but we don't want this now. So we go back, make the text object visible again with Alt H, select it and go to the outliner here and just uncheck this little camera so that it's like this. And if we now render again, we will see that the text object will not show up like this. So we just maybe take another frame, maybe we go here, hide the text object again. Yeah, that's cool. So apply a quick simple glass material with an IOR of 1.33 because that's water but we make it orange, like in the example of the demo reel. And we need a bit more saturation here. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so let's render this. So yeah, that's quite nice. What I like to do is always uh, experimenting with the color management, so maybe increase the exposure. And I like the look of the Aquacolor HDC 200 plus. And you can do, of course, all kind of other things, um, depth of field, like in the example. So, or like I did here. And again, this is a bit higher quality. But you see the problems like in the N here or the L because the lines are too thin and the resolution wasn't high enough. And you can adjust all those fluid settings, but I won't cover them here. There are enough tutorials out there and maybe I will do one about uh, fluid one day. But that's basically it. And I think this looks really cool and you can do some nice logos, some uh, YouTube intros for that. And yeah, do whatever you like, be creative and have fun. Bye.